we're going to talk about creativity as a driver for growth and everything that we've been doing at Oyster Catchers. Uh, it was quite a year in 2018, wasn't it? It was, it was. Um, so we did a lot, didn't we? I think the biggest thing around creativity that we did was launching of our Marketing Influencers program yeah. that we did with Rankin and we launched as an exhibition and then at our new wonderful awards we showed it again. Yes. Um, and we've got some big ideas for that this year. Yeah. Uh, we also then did quite a lot of work in consultancy and you joined us, well, just a year ago, I did, uh, having yes. been our client at, at the post office yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, and you've had a busy year on consultancy. Yeah, we've had a really busy year. So some huge highlights of 20, 2018 ran a big consultancy project with M&S, helping them to deliver better creative work for commercial growth. And then some other really big projects with other key high street retailers as well. So a very exciting year from a consultancy perspective. Yeah, and it's interesting, isn't it? Because I think in um, 2018, we've seen it's been a really tough year for retail and for financial services again. It has. Um, and a lot of our work that we're doing around remodels and the in-house in outsource model, yeah. the way that we're structuring marketing departments now is, is quite new and innovative. And I think there's going to be even bigger changes in, in this year, don't you? I think there are. I think the big themes that we were answering for our clients in 2018 was around, you know, is my marketing department really efficient and effective? Is it really hardwired into the commercial growth of the organisation and is it really leading for customer first and they were the big three themes that we run our consultancy projects against last year. Yeah, I think so. And then I think the other piece around people. Yes. You no, know, it's really hard, isn't it? That transformation, that constant evolving is really challenging for the people themselves. It is. Um, and we're seeing ourselves at Centaur as well, aren't we? Because, well, you wouldn't know, but you know, as a new person in, uh, we've had a lot of change at Centaur. We did lots of new innovations, but we're really fully integrated now into the Centaur group. Uh, and within marketing as well. So I think that's going to be just growing and more interesting as we go into 2019 as well. I think so. And I think where we've really helped clients in 2018 is it's been a really tough year. In fact, I think they're saying it's been the toughest year on the high street since 2008. And one of our lovely clients described it as driving down the M4 at 100 miles an hour with the bonnet open, trying to fix the engine at the same time. I said, actually, Oyster Catchers, that's where you can come and help us because you do some of the heavy lifting around operating model, teams, processes, ways of working, while we keep the day-to-day -day commercial delivery of the business going. Yeah, and we've changed our model, haven't we? We that. have. So we've got you and lots of others are now working inside marketing departments with clients. Yeah. Um, we tried a model where you were there the whole time. Actually, it works much better, I think, if you're there two, three, four days a week. It does. You keep that objectivity when you're yeah. in, but you're also out. So you've got time to put a noise to catch perspective rather than turning into just another member yeah. of the client team. Yeah. So we'll definitely evolve that further um, this year as well. Yeah, we will. So I think the only other thing then is a big club event next week. I'm yes. really looking forward to talking about creativity Me again. Too. Me too. Um, uh, fantastic, fantastic panel. So um, we'll talk separately. We'll do a little one, uh, one of these probably about that in the next day or so. But yeah. um, wow, I, I really look forward to a great year. Yeah, I think it's going to be an exciting year.